has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? Micah 6, verse 8. I know you know, but I'm reminding you as well as myself that God promises never to leave us nor forsake us while coming through and you are returning to my channel. I'm Erica. By the title, as you can see, you already know, another crochet hair in yourself. I've never tried this hair before. It's the free trust wand, ring light wand, curl, two times hair. It's like the 4C texture. Never tried it before and I really like this hair. I ended up purchasing three packs but I only used two of that two pack. They're two times. I ended up using like a portion of the fourth bundle and there was like seven pieces left over. But this hair is so full. I like that. Like honestly, I think I'll do God willing is if I do try this hair next time, I'm gonna try it in maybe like a four or a two or something just to kind of leave some of my hair out. So starting off, this is my braiding pattern. It is the same braiding pattern from the last video. I am using the ring light wand curl in OT27 and this is what the hair looks like. It does come pre-sectioned. As you can see, there's two bundles in the one pack. If you guys have used this hair before, you are familiar with it. Honestly, I wasn't gonna try it simply because it is shoulder length. And like I stated before, I have never installed any hair this length before. So what I'm doing right now is I am trying to section the hair or separate the hair as best as I can and trying to minimize the frizz, as you can see there. So I just try and, um, separate from the tips and then I separate it from the middle and then I just pull it apart and if you guys know my technique I just um like I said pre-section the hair separate it pretty um and do pretty small pieces so I think altogether I have about I separated the hair maybe about three or four times between three to four times or three to five times now the one thing I can say is that the hair is really full after I'd install it and what I wish I had done is I didn't do them so close because I'm pretty sure the hair would have looked a little bit more natural but if you are going to try the hair the way that I try it then I would suggest you know kind of separate the hair a little bit more. <laughs> the back of the hair because I only have eight braids and they're pretty big and I don't want to have the uh, space there where you can see kind of like the uh, parts throughout um, my hair just in case like you know the wind should blow or what have you what I try to do is for two cornrows I just basically put the latch hook under two cornrows that's closest to each other but I try not to braid my hair too tight because if your hair is too tight then I do not suggest this that's why I don't braid my hair too tight so it's important to note that so what I do I just pull those two cornrows together and then I kind of have those uh, braids joined together in order to avoid that big gap at the back of the hair in case you guys were wondering <music>
is me almost done as you can see i am now on the second pack and this is the fourth bundle that i'm on i'm doing the invisible knot method technique and for this hair because of the textures of 4c hair i only had to knot the hair like twice but i think I, sometimes i did between two to three times knot just for that little extra security now I did found that the hair was a little bit full so what I would advise if you guys are going to try this hair again or if you've never tried it and maybe this is your first time seeing this hair and seeing the install I don't know but this is just another um, FYI if you are going to try this method and try to do only two packs of hair what I do suggest is to space the hair out um, just use your finger as your guide to space them you know two <laughs> fingers apart to avoid it looking so full if you like to have the hair you know looking more natural but this does look kind of natural over time you know so the curls they do clump up a little bit and of course i'm just doing my edges and now i'm just shaping the hair to my liking and uh, styling it as I go. Now what I ended up doing is I ended up using some gel, which you can honestly opt out of this. Um, there's no need to use gel, just I think leave the hair be. And I will explain later on in the video if you guys keep watching. If you've made it this far, hey, why don't you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, you know, comment, let me know what you guys think so far. And always, as always, remember that God is with you and he does promises say it with me never to leave us nor forsake us now look at the transformation oh my gosh <laughs> So this is what the hair looks like the next day honest to god like i don't know why i didn't try this hair sooner i'm kind of trying to get used to it simply because i've never installed my hair this short before i usually install it long shoulder length and then i cut it if you guys have been watching my videos right that's what i do but this hair i am convinced like <laughs> it's my hair but it's not it's crochet braids this hair is honestly it's lightweight i didn't use three or four packs i only used two packs and i ended up using four bundles or of the two packs this is what i have left over of that fourth bundle i think i have about like seven pieces left one two three four five six seven seven pieces left and i'm pretty sure i could have gone in and you know fill in any gaps that i have in here i don't think you have to put gel in the hair really this is just something that i try but i don't think i would advise putting gel in the hair i say just leave it as is and what can be done is maybe spritz some water or some fabric softener in the hair and then do it up in a pineapple and tie it and then go to bed i hope this video was helpful to you if it was please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe god willing you'll stop by for my next video until then take care bye bye for now